My name is Andrew Krulowitz. I'm a solar market analyst at GTM Research, the market analysis and research subsidiary of Green Tech Media. We are here at our sixth annual solar summit in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm sitting with Ben and Dean from Scholl's Technology Group. Uh, we're going to ask them a few questions today uh, and discuss the state of the balance of systems market. Uh, Dean, Scholl sells a lot of BOS components, which are all integral to a PV system and for it to come to, and ultimately come to completion and function properly. But they don't get as much attention as inverters or modules or even racking to a certain extent. So, you know, briefly, could you, you know, tell us about your role with the company and more specifically, um, you know, wh what exactly does Scholl's offer in terms of product and these BOS components? Sure. My name is Dean Solon. I'm the president of Scholl's Technologies. Uh, it was founded in 1996 as a tier one automotive company. Uh, we were uh, approached by First Solar 2003 to get into solar. We didn't understand what solar was, but now we're uh, enjoying sound, solar. Good, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we were making automotive assemblies, and then we needed to put a junction box on the back of a module. So since 2003, we have transitioned 100% into the solar business. And uh, what Scholz is, is doing in the industry is the simplest way to put it is we make junction boxes for the back of the modules all the way to the power stations. We, we don't build modules and we do not build inverters, but we will build everything in between. So junction boxes, cable assemblies, racking, burial cables, burial jumpers, combiners, recombiners, master fuse boxes. And we've just in 2013 are going to start manufacturing 1.5 megawatt power skids. Okay. And so we're, we're going to turn those into plug and play devices. We think the power skid, there's two things that our customers have been pushing shoals into. One is racking, because it's been too expensive, and two is power skids, because power skids fail a lot. And can, can you explain to me what a power skid is and how your design will help lower the cost of systems? So the power skid has the inverters, the transformer, and some of the control logic all mounted up on a platform that's delivered to the job site. And those have been very fragmented. Everybody kind of has their proprietary way of doing it. it uh, it's causing a lot of industry stress. They're very expensive, and uh, it needs a it needs a defrag program. Is the easiest way to put it. It's it's uh, going to be what we're looking to do is turn it into a plug and play skid. So with this power skid, are you going to allow for integration of, uh, of many different types of third party inverters in the assembly, or are you specifically seeking to work with one inverter? Company? All of them. We are going to basically have a station that has a you could take a AE or SMA. Whoever's inverter, just plug it in the skid and uh, deliver it to the job site. So now you're, and then also taking the transformer off the power skid and delivering that to the, to the site. So now you have a smaller, more compact plug and play skid that uh, is easier to transport and uh, final assembled at the job site. And for what size projects is this available? 100 kW, 500 kW? They're going to be from 500 kW up to 2.5 megawatts. Okay, great. And that, that leads me to my next question, and this one's for you, Ben. So the power skid's still in development coming down the road, but right now you do offer this bevy of products that you are you know, absolutely necessary to, to finish a system. Um, do most of Scholl's customers buy complete kind of uh, in-a-box kits that all they need is just the module and the inverter to get it up and running or in the racking? Or do people kind of buy things piece by piece? Yeah, it's uh, we try to tailor to the to our customers with offering them a full turnkey solution. So as Dean mentioned earlier, we try to focus from between the module and the inverter, everything in between, uh, delivering everything to the site already prefab, pre-labeled, pre-measured, um, pre-terminated combiner boxes. Pure so plug and play. It's a plug and play system. And and the way we're seeing it, the solar economy heading is most people want to say, I'll bring the module. I'll bring the inverter, you do the rest. Because they don't want to go to 20 different vendors issuing 20 master supply agreements and all the hassles and headaches that come with all these big executed contracts. They just want to come. And we've been, almost from day one of us selling components, I've had the, the idea of selling in pennies per watt. And it's taken a lot of years of convincing big players to understand pennies per watt. And for us, it's simply, we'll deliver from the module to the inverter. For X pennies, you get the racking, the wiring, the combiners, the, all the systems that go into delivering, and uh, it's X pennies per watt. So if you have a 10 megawatt field, it's 10 million times 
expenses, right. extended costs, there's the whole purchase order. 